state your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Jeez, man. The, the, the language in this game. A bit rough. Sack of Fanny Tith. Hey, thanks, man, for the follow over on Twitch. Sorry I didn't see that earlier. Bit of a... Bit of a crazy little episode there. But we made it through. Yeah, I still think I'd rather have this. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. Alright, talk to Cassandra. Yeah, no problem, man. We got the church now. Kind of was hoping there'd be a car out here waiting for me, but I guess not. So we're not that far away. So like the last thing I want to do is get the police on me right now. We're so close to turning this in. Wow, the city's a lot bigger than it you know originally seems. Let's see if we can go back in the front door again. So I've already. Yeah, I've already cracked it, so. <laughs> this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen. I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrapped me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, I'm a pop up. Go on, get. <laughs> He could warn Doucette. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Yeah, I'm kind of with Cassandra on that one. I would, uh... I would definitely kill him. Alright, you've taken over the smack and prostitution rackets. Drawing 
Richie Desette to and the Dixie Mafia out of their hole. All right, uh, this is how you'll go after Meccano. All right, by uncovering and seizing control of criminal rackets and then confronting the lieutenants and capos. No problem. After taking down the rackets, you'll be able to go after him himself. That's it, man. Prey on the way up. Let's do it. be fun this is this is like my first major major deal in this game I think we're like four almost five hours into it I heard this game's pretty long though and I guess like I don't know even if it was like 20 hours that's not like a crazy big game Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely has had some problems. Got some people. All right, Richie's way back there. I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Hey, motherfucker! Georgie sent you. Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. Oh, hey. Loving it. Come on, where are you guys? Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Come on, where are you? Not a lot of bullets left. What do you think? Is that it? Nope. Oh, 
Oh, nice! Shouldn't have took three shots. I don't know, Loki man. Stealth overrated. Now it's now I'm thinking like uh, sniper. Definitely not overrated. They're really far out. Like apparently too far for me to even shoot. <laughs> Never mind. Not too far for me to shoot. So many guys. What is that? Like 15 guys so far? Just getting handled by the sniper? messed up. Come on, guys.
Nice. Come on, guys, where are you? What is that? Oh, baby! That's nice, man. Yeah, snipers definitely just destroying don't have a ton left in the sniper rifle though This guy's nuts. Alright, anybody else gonna come this way?
Alright, so they gotta come up this way. Man, this is nuts! Well, folks, you made it all the way to the paddle wheel. And Lord have mercy, it's worth it. Cause there ain't a prettier side than the view from the top. But don't take my word for it. This is nuts, dude. Jesus Christ. Go, come on, get out.
Okay, that's the only guy. This is insane. This is nuts, man. I need ammo. <laughs> this is crazy. did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with her! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, please, please, listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was gonna kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Freaking amazing. Jorge, thanks for the subscription over on YouTube, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the family, Jorge. And another trophy. Pray on the way up. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Wow. Yeah, Cassandra's like the first person I need to talk to. That was just epic. Oh, come on. Get 
No! <laughs> Get out of this boat! There we go. That was a good mission. That was an amazing mission. I just had my hair done. I hear you. I hear you. It's a tough world. Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca. Who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Alright, district assignment. You're about to sign this district to Cassandra. Each underboss wants to improve their urn, so they'll offer you favors like weapons, make makers, vehicle upgrade services through their associates. I can't believe it, man. We took down the Dixie Mafia tonight. And we'll go ahead and assign that to Cassandra. Cody, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you, brother? I'm gonna come and take this money right here. The Loire welcome you. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it 